Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. This time we're going as Blue Baby. We'll try and do uh, Light Path here, I think, by the looks of it. And we are at the 28 win streak. Ooh, I've got a phone call incoming. Let's see if it's a scam. One second. It was a scam. It's always a goddamn scam. Why is it always a scam call? Anyways, we're playing as good old Blue Baby here. Um, he's not particularly hard, but he does obviously have a limitation of blue hearts only. Um, so we'll see how he goes. I'm not particularly a big fan of the situation I found myself in here with these uh, these fine chaps because of the repulsor guy. It's been very hard to hit them, dudes. Okay, there you go. We, 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 blah, 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 blah. we got through it. Anyways, I've been recording pretty much back-to-back -back episodes here. I'm just recording a ton the day before I go on holiday. Um, I'm only on holiday for like five days, but I'm just backlogging like crazy because it means that when I get back from holiday, I don't have to stress about getting videos done sort of thing. I've just got them all ready. So I'm creating a hefty backlog here. Also, just while I'm on this crazy streak for once, I'm really just in the mood to play Isaac more because there's so much higher stakes. It's a lot more enjoyable. So I'm, I'm just like really in the mood to play Isaac at the minute. And so I'm playing a lot of it. I'm recording a lot of it whenever I can. One moment, I'm going to pop my fan on because it's actually... Pretty warm in here. I apologize if the if the sound is a little distracting, but oh, that's so much better. Can we quit it with the troll bombs, my guy? Getting a bit much. What does this guy drop again, item-wise? Dude, this is actually getting ridiculous now. Okay, you did find a secret room for me, so I can at least say that that's pretty positive for us. We get Anarchist Cookbook. Okay, it is at least a book, um, but it's not a particularly good one. It actually let us get to this, which is kind of nice. And we got a pair throw out of it. Okay, I can say that this book has redeemed itself. And in the worst of worst situations, I can actually pair throw the book into a potential item that we can use. So we'll see what the game befalls us with here and if that's a valid strategy. Ooh, this game is, is being a generous boy today. So we get a forget me now. Hmm. Forget me now is... is it's probably worth it. Glitter bombs here is good. Um, how exactly am I doing this? Okay. Not the way that I just did it. So I can kill you, right? Yeah, okay. That makes things easier. Get myself glitter bombs. I think, I think I'm going to take the forget me now over the poop. Even though that seems like a bit of a strange decision considering we have petrified poop. I just think an extra item room item um, could be pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on with this floor, go do my boss, see if there's anything that I'd want to pair through more in my boss room, which I doubt because you can't get active items from the boss. Don't like that hit I just took, got to say. This guy's distracting the hell out of me. I need to stop. Thank you. Clotties are one of my worst enemies in the first floor, I think. Clotties can be so difficult, especially the burning ones. Right, so we do get uh, Diplopia in here as well. This has created a real strange situation now. Hmm. Blow these up. Okay, so basically... Hmm. Soul Heart is definitely plausible. Do not like the situation with these motherfuckers. There's also a Tinted Rock behind this guy as well, I'm pretty sure. The game gets... Even generouser. I've never seen this guy be green before, which is interesting. Slightly scary, but interesting. Good, good. We get an additional bomb here. We get the money we need for Diplopia. So, at the minute, basically my hope is that I get a stat-increasing item from here. I can Diplopia it to gain double the stats. Then I can forget me now to redo the floor and pair through the Anarchist Cookbook. That's my current thought process. I don't know if that's the most valuable sort of assessment of things that I could be doing here. To me, that sort of speaks to be one of the better options I've got. To get a pretty goddamn valuable first floor, all things considered. So let's see. We did indeed get something that is worth duplicating. It's only marginally worth it, mind you. <laughs> um, we're only getting 0.5 damage out of this bad boy. But it is something that can be duplicated for a stat gain. So I think we do it. Uh, so we duplicate this. Ball sacks. I should have dropped the pair throw and duplicated the goddamn pair throw as well. That's 
That's goosish of me. I didn't even think about the fact that I could duplicate the pair throw until after I'd used it. I was like, oh, it's a shame there isn't a soul heart in this room. I was like, wait a minute. Damn. Okay, so we get bed bug, which isn't very valuable. That's a shame. That's a shame. Because then I could have... Then I could have fucking re-rolled the poop as well. Heck. Oh, bugger. Anyways, it is what it is. Right. Uh, oh, half soul heart. That fire. That's unusual and very, very nice. So we'll pop this. Pretty weird first floor, I've got to say. Pretty weird first floor. I have no idea if the damage effects of uh, dealing extra damage to bosses that have above 150 HP will stack. I doubt it. But the 0.5 damage at least did stack. Um, and while obviously 0.5 damage twice isn't exactly great, I think if it was given to me in a shop to gain 0.5 damage, I would probably purchase it for um, 15 cents. So I feel like... It's justified. It's just a shame that I got Diploca in a situation that wasn't more favorable. Oh, dude, this is annoying. Those fires wouldn't bloody go away. Right, good, good, good. Oh, tears up capsule as well. This is tickety boo, baby. This is lovely. Have I done question of the day today? If I haven't, um, hmm. What's the last minor injury you had? Did you stub your toe? Let's find out. How y'all how y'all are hurting yourself. <laughs> Who's the clumsiest motherfucker in my chat? I said chat, you know what I mean. Right. Straight for the boss here. So this guy, I believe, yeah, th this guy definitely has over 150 HP. You can see we're doing a ton more damage to him. Oh my god, we're killing him so much faster than normal. Holy fuck. That was kind of great. Unfortunately, just a little old Magic 8 Ball there. I mean, we got a planetarium out of Magic 8 Ball on the previous run, so don't diss it too hard. There's, there's some stuff to be gained from it. We also got a tower card here, which I don't really have a use in mind for right now. That, that little shithead. I'm not really a fan of the situation I've got myself in here. There you go, that helps. It's the fucking dude spinning around me that's pissing me off. Get out of here, you shit fucking shithead. Oh my god. This is so frustrating, I can't goddamn hit him. There you go. Ugh, that was awful. By the soul heart and be on our way. I think we've given ourselves a good bit of protection. With the players we made. <laughs> Not only did we get a planetarium, the extra chance from the um, from the Magic 8 Ball hasn't even taken effect yet. We got a 1% chance planetarium. Okay. Well, this was a very, very good uh, setup here. And we get a pretty goddamn good item out of it too. We get Wiggly Snake Boy. Um, and then out of this, we get um, Palace. Damage up for each... Um, New room explored. Special rooms give higher damage. 10% of the damage becomes permanent when moving to the next floor. Immunity to curses are lost. Really good to get this early. Really, really good to get this early. This is a very, very intriguing start to a run. And I'm very happy with it. Uh, I like our little wispy beard we've got with our little um, tablecloth on our head. I know it's not a tablecloth, but I'm going to call it that. Anyways, we are going to um, light path here. So let's just carry on. Right now, I'm very pleased with the quality of this run. Uh, little Loki doesn't exactly inspire too much confidence, but eh, this is what it is. But yeah, we're going to be gaining damage for rooms that we explore, and then we keep 10% of it. So basically, on this run, it's it's very incentivized. Wow, full soul heart from a poop. It's very incentivized for us to explore the entire floor, um, simply because we're going to get more damage permanently coming to the next floor, having gone to every room. So... I think I will do that. Okay, there's a champion boy over here. We'll sort of see what damage we end up at. We're getting 0.2 per room and I think 0.4 per special room. We get another pair throw. Okay, so the, the pair throw came back to us anyways. Oh, dude, the little square boys are... Very bad at not getting hit by them. There's one room back there, but I'm not going to go all the way back for that. Can't be asked. 
Come on, Snake Boy, do your thing. Thanks, Snake Boy. There's all the pills about, but I'm not really intrigued by the pills too much. Oh, that extra damage against bosses is so strong. Smooth Stone is amazing. That's pretty good for us. Uh, two soul hearts, heart containers. Yeah, that's just basically two soul hearts, right? Yep. Um, I will take both of these. Okay. Are we good to leave this floor? So we're at 7.32 damage now. Let's see what damage we are on at the next floor. So now we're on 4.9. So basically we're at almost exactly 5. So let's see what we end up at by the next floor. This is an XL floor as well. Which I think means we can technically carry over more damage. Because XL floors are generally larger. Um, so that's, that's kind of nice. Nice one. Still getting good petrified poop players here. Bunch of dippy dippies. My clearing room's pretty quick, so we're already up one whole damage. Secret room's looking like it's here. We got a bomb back for that from glitter bombs as well. Dude. Dude. Didn't mean to buy that heart, but we did. Good stuff so far, good stuff so far. What are we looking for at the minute? Decent active would be nice. Uh, tears up would be good too. Oh god, the lag on these rooms is pretty rough. I think it's because of all the dips I've got. The snake boy is doing a really good job. Eden's Locket. Upon taking damage, nah. One of our da items rerolls. That could potentially screw us over. I don't want to take the risk there. We do have a chance at a decent active here now, though. Um, and we have a very decent active. We get Book of Virtues and we get Book of Despair. Very nice. That gives us Bookworm. Lovely. From Anarchist Cookbook earlier. Didn't even think about that. Up to 8.59 damage now. Dude, another uh, thingy solar item. We're, we're getting, we're, we're one off a transformation, I think, at the minute. Which gives us flight and then the star shots, whatever you want to call them. We've still got another item room to find yet. Um, this is just caves, so let's just do the bosses. We of course have to fight this shithead. So okay, we're dealing with him reasonably well. Good old Jesus juice. My god, Smooth Stern is just insanely strong. The amount of damage we're doing to this guy right now. We do have good damage anyways, but we're doing even more to him. And Stapler, wow. No need to reroll nothing. We looking good. Okay, so. We should be on about seven real damage now. So, we'll because we had two damage ups. And we started the floor at five. So, we're around seven real damage. We're at 12.89 from the exploration bonus. I want to see how much of that carries over. So... How, however much in excess we are over, like, 7-ish is how much we gained. I don't, it's, it's hard to be exact with, obviously, gaining real damage ups here. Cool. I guess I could open that. Why not? Pick up the fucking sack! Oh, I can't! God damn it. I saw the keeper. I couldn't goddamn pick it up. What the fuck? That's like the best soul of the keeper I've ever seen. They gave me four nickels and three golden pennies. 
I mean, one, one time it's going to teleport over the gap. I know it. This is absolutely insane. It's, that, it's like literally, yeah, I knew one of them was going to do that eventually. It's like literally the best um, saw the keeper I've ever seen. That was insane. Wowie, baby. Wowie. We definitely want to go to our shop now. Oh, God, it's fire, boy. Oh, God, I've walked into a fire. Not the ideal way to uh, take damage. Back room. There's a shop. That's pretty good, I'll take that. Because now I can get in here without a key. Um, yes. And now I can also get in here without a key. I didn't even realize I didn't have keys, so I wouldn't be able to get into these rooms anyways if it weren't for this trinket. Lucky me, I guess. Oh, dude, we got the transformation. Wait, what? No, we didn't? We've got three planetary... Uh, We've got three astrology items and one planetarium, unless the modded ones don't count, but that should have given us a transformation. I'm not quite sure why it didn't. I can't remember what the transformation's called now, but it's from the, um, it's from the thingy mod, the, uh, what the hell's the character called? What the hell's the planetarium character called? I'm gonna have to go fucking look it up now, because I can't, it's gonna piss me right off. Um... Workshop. I, I genuinely am completely blanking on what the hell that character's called. Where is it? Andromeda, that's the one. Yeah, Andromeda. Um, unless they changed the transformation. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough right now. Uh, will this open this? I doubt it. Ah. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Anyways, pretty happy with how things are going right now. Let's head down to the next floor. We are gliding through this run. Gliding through it. It is lovely. It's always nice on a streak to have one of these runs. I'm going to use my active more often here. Oh, what the fuck is this room? I'm going to use my active more often here to generate more wisps. That room was kind of creepy. Good. We get so many little bobbies as well here. Still no keys, but we got bombs. Wow. <laughs> I forgot to check my damage at the start of this floor, but it's it's high now. My damage is rather high now. Honestly, thank god I got this trinket, because I am not getting any keys right now. There's conjoined. Uh, do you know, I've, I've long since been a pretty big advocate for conjoined. And I still am, I still think it's a good transformation. But I never realised how ridiculously insane the tears down is. Like, the damage down is 0 0.5 off of my 15 damage, I don't care. But goddamn, taking 0 0.6 tiers off of my only three tiers is kind of rude. It's kind of rude. There's a key, finally.
a black heart, and then one of these empty reroll hearts. These hearts are interesting. Basically, we can use it to gain a broken heart, I think, and reroll an item. If it's, the, if it's the heart I'm thinking of, it might not be. This might be one of the ones that revives you, I can't remember. I might be thinking of the wrong one. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Oh, I did get hit there. An extra key, baby. Still holding on to this pair for her. Nothing has needed re-rolling as of yet. We have not had a reason to re-roll anything. Don't know why he's it outside of combat. That was pretty silly. I get using it when it's ready, but using it outside of combat is a little stupid. Right. Carry on with the pair thrower. Keep this trainer going. There's a blue baby train. Yeah, this is a goddamn beautiful run. <laughs> goddamn beautiful. That first floor really set us up for success, didn't it? I, I always find that, though. Do you guys find that where, like... If you have an unlucky start, the entire run's unlucky. If you have a lucky start, the entire run's lucky. It's never like, oh, you get a really bad start, then it, the run eventually, like, you get super lucky. It, that rarely happens. It's always that you, like, basically have a full lucky run or a full bad luck r run. No, nowhere in between. It's always what it feels like for me, at least. Good. So we're at 17 damage, uh, 0.3 damage now. 17.7. .7. My shadow's awesome. And Iabolil is also awesome. Quite a lot of HP to spend there, but I'm pretty confident at the moment. Uh, right, so we're at 17.7 .7 damage. Let's see how much we lose. Down to 12.8. Pretty good. Yeah, Isle of Belisle, a little bit expensive for us, but super goddamn good with uh, Conjoint, and just super good in general. Also, my Shadow, I won't get the opportunity to fully take advantage of it, honestly, but I like having it regardless. Um, essentially, if anything touches that little Shadow falling behind us, it will spawn a Fury Most Foul that they will have to deal with. I'm not going to take that. That item basically spews a bunch of shots out of your butt, um, which would sound pretty good. Did you see that little dodge I did there? Would, would sound pretty good, but it just lags your game a lot. <laughs> and I can't be arsed with dealing with extra lag on a run. There's a few items like that. There's like wow factor as well. Did that guy hit me? I think he hit me towards the end of that room there. It's kind of rude. I'm hoping this floor I can redeem my HP a little. What's with all these fucking ghosty boys? Can you bugger off? Boom. I guess my HP isn't terrible right now, but it's also not great for heading to the womb. I'd like to get like another maybe two soul hearts and then I'd feel a bit more confident. But I do seemingly have a revive right now. I'm still not sure if that is a revive or not, but it looks to be. Um, and unfortunately, our our money to shop ratio is pretty bad. We're getting not great shop items. We've got a ton of money, though. Just trying to do all the rooms I can to get as much bonus damage as possible. We're at 12.8 before, so we'll see what we finish this floor at. Don't tell a fragment whatever you do. Good. 
Well, that was very, very, very valueless. But it was a special room which gives us slightly more damage, so not all bad. Right, okay, we are at 17.8 damage, and after the boss we'll probably be just below, uh, actually just above uh, 18. Uh, we might be able to get something out of these. Technically we did get something out of them, just not what we wanted. Right. Good old boss man, what you got for us? Throw 18.25 8, on the boss. Should have, should have grabbed that fool card back there. Whoopsie. Um, we want to do light path here. Um, I've already messed this up, so we can't do boss rush, but that's fine. Okay then, so it's going to be hard to track what damage I was on because we now have Sacred Heart. This is pretty nuts. This, this, this run, like I said, when you when you get lucky, you just get luckier. That's just how it works in this game. So now, now I'm very much hoping we can do Delirium. And I'm actually maybe thinking if we can make Hush, which we probably can, we should just go Delirium Floor. Because this is such a goddamn good run for it. Like, I, I genuinely don't really think we could die to Delirium here. Especially if we end up with more HP. Kidoki, keep it moving. Got a random ringing in my ear. One sec. What the hell is that about? Well, that was rather strange. I've just got a random bit of ringing in my ear. And I don't know where it came from. Hopefully I'm not dying. I'll be fine. It'll be fine. This is a floor where... Ooh, I forgot that Aquarius is herming now. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Love that. Uh, right, i got to say, I think um, I'm not going to bother too much with the full exploration at this point. Just because the womb is AIDS. But uh, I will I will try and do the rooms that I can, just because they're easy. We can, like, pass through them pretty quick. I'm not going to go the full length back. Definitely not d this run game. You, you can certainly change your tune if you think that's ever going to happen. down here. Yeah, the damage we're getting now from the room-to-room -room experience is slightly inconsequential overall. Yeah, nice and easy. This doesn't do anything for us, like literally nothing. Doesn't even give us a burn heart these days. Don't want to spend my keys on that. The fire rate bonus this is giving us is not very good. Honestly, our fire rate is pretty bad. It's really conjoined that's saving us here because we're firing more shots because of it. Yeah. Quickly wait for this poop to regenerate. Yep. Grab a th that. What um, thingy did we get? What item did we get rotating around us? I can't actually tell what that is. Cannot tell. Okie dokie. One second. Okay, we is back. Let's go. We is back. But yeah, I think I think Hush is definitely the right way to go for us here. It would make a lot of sense to me. We're just blasting through. Oh, it is this way. I thought there wasn't a door here, but there is. Oh my god, the boss is 
Just getting destroyed. The thing is as well, Smooth Stone still applies. Like, we're still dealing 1.5 damage to any boss with over 150 HP, which is like, literally all of them at this point. Some of these enemies definitely have some, like, boss armor going on. That guy lived for way too long, considering how quickly everything else is dying. But, like, look at these guys. Like, look how quickly they die. Like, Hush is going to get murdered. Same with Delirium. That's why I'm, like, so interested in doing them bosses. Because it's going to be so easy. Boom. <laughs> Boom, baby. Yeah, we'll definitely be going for the Hush fight here. Definitely doing Delirium. Which is which is our first Delirium kill on our streak in a while, I think. False PhD, you say. I mean, I guess I'll take it. It's not a bad thing. Tears down. Ooh, tears down is rough. Oh, crawl space, okay. Tears Down is really rough, actually. Vanilla Wafer doesn't do too much for us, but I guess I'll grab it. God damn, yeah, Tears Down is, is, is very harsh. I'm not happy with that at all. And here we've got a Soul Heart and the goddamn Bible. Health down for damage up, I don't think that's really worth. Take that. That gave us an additional soul heart. Lovely. I didn't actually think it would, but happy enough. Right, at least we got our book to augment our uh, tiers a at least a little bit. Our tier 8 doesn't matter too much, to be honest. We've got conjoined stuff. Look at how many brother bobbies we've got. God damn. I mean, they're all going to die in this fight, but they're still crazy. Also, a bookworm is helpful too if I extra shots because of that. Yeah, all the bobbies are just dying now. First phase is done. I'm sorry, bobbies. You all had to go sometime. And all of these little dudes give us damage ups and stuff for Chimerism, that item we just got. Which we had in the last run as well, I'm pretty sure. Don't know why I just walked into him there, but it's done. Ooh, actually, I, uh, I have invincibility right now. We need to take advantage for my shadow. I kind of forgot about the shadow. If we get hit, we need to be taking advantage of that as much as we can. I'm trying to stand close to him so that my um, Aquarius, like, stank on the floor still hits him. Because it actually does quite a lot of damage. I think it's 66% of your tier damage per hit. Which is pretty goddamn crazy for when we got this much damage, so... Worth standing next to him. Can the lesbians please calm down? Like, dude, that, that, they lasted for so goddamn long, my guy. Right, cool. Nice and quick, easy kill on him. Delirium, here we come. Let's go. Yeah, very highly doubt we have any risk of dying here. It'd take a miracle, I think. Tell you what, though. Do not like this guy. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get to do a bunch of bosses. Oh, I do not like this room. I'm hoping we get to do a bunch of bosses before we fight the, the man himself. What, what's, go what's going on with this room? I'm very confused. I've been hit twice now, and I don't really know what's keeping me from winning this room. The flibbity fuck was that room? That was horrible. And of course, it's Delirium straight away. After we lose a bunch of health and don't get to kill any bosses for Chimera's and damage. That's really pissed me off, that has. And we've not even got a charge for our goddamn book, either. I'm really, really annoyed now. Like, that is... That that room was goddamn horseshit, and you know it. What the fuck was that? You put Kingpin 
in a room, it's already massively BS. Especially a small room, kingpin in it. No, no, no. That's evil. You then put an invincible flying fucking thing with four brimstones in it. Oh, that, that was just evil in every single way that evil can be described. That was evil. I hated that so much. I mean, we should still be fine here, but I'm honestly a little bit more concerned than I previously was. I'll be honest, because uh, we came into this with a lot less health than I was expecting. No tears increase. Oh, this is just... I'm just very annoyed. Of course, like, do you know, the amount of times I've been Stellarium, it's been the very last boss when I didn't want it to be. And of course, when I want it to be, it's literally the first goddamn boss. But, like I said, we've done a ton of damage to him already. Basically, all it takes for us at the minute is if he transforms into his base form, he's fucked. All right, I just got Telefragged by Mum. I'm using my shadow whenever I can. He gained more HP, apparently, and there's some creep there. I'm If I die to this, I'm actually going to be the most pissed off you've ever seen me on a video. I'm not even joking. I might actually rage quit YouTube forever. Nah, I won't. But still, I'm going to be really annoyed if I die to this, because this this would be some horseshit. Oh, nice one. He's in his base form. For like 0.2 of a second, though. My guy, just die already. This is... This is sad. Just die already. There you go. Fucking hell. That was evil. That room, whoever designed that room, you need to never ever touch Isaac room creating kits ever again because you are deranged. I'm sorry to say it, but goddamn, that, that room is evil. Anyways, we did it. I can stop complaining. I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.